hold up, I am on my way I'm in motion Let's go to the ocean Yeah, let's go outside Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel OMG guys, as you can tell from my voice I'm so excited because it's finally time To pull out those Christmas decor and go to town I was waiting for Thanksgiving to be all over And it's finally over guys It's time for decoration It's time for Christmas You guys, this year I decided to go with the traditional Christmas colors Like you guys already know that Every year we come up with, you know, different team for our christmas last year it was winter wonderland it was all silver all white this year we decided to go with white and red and i absolutely love how everything came together let's just go ahead so i can show you guys how i achieved this look and i can promise santa's coming to visit no he wouldn't miss this in christmas times you guys so i would say this is the first time ever since i started doing christmas decor that i have every single thing like from my ribbons to my decor piece to my ornaments everything i i have all the links guys first time so i'm gonna link every single thing you guys see in this living room in my description box so if you like you know how the decor turned out and you want to recreate it of course just go to the description box everything will be linked there but of course guys if you've been watching my christmas decor for a while you know the very first thing i always go ahead and do is i use ribbon guys and the reason i love to go in with ribbon first is when you look at a christmas tree you would notice like in between branches there's always like holes and you know there's like kind of a ball parts you know so what i love to do is to go ahead with my ribbons and as you guys can see i started from up and then i go ahead and tie the ribbons and i use um two branches from the from the three and hold the ribbon and this is going to help cover all those bald spots you know you guys can see in any christmas tree and once i'm able to you know do that the next thing is to go ahead and use my christmas ornament balls and when i'm getting like whenever i'm buying christmas ornament balls i love the big ones the small ones don't really do much guys if you want to like look at this you see there was a big hole there but when i went in with with the big ball and just put it there it covered that look and i'm pushing it in another thing i learned this year is when you're putting your christmas ornaments right especially the balls you want to push it in so that it will be as if it's tucked into the tree instead of hanging it on the tree i'm not sure if i'm making sense but yep once i went in with the big balls i now went in with a smaller one because when i bought the balls they didn't really have much of the big balls so i just got like maybe six of the white and um, white and red big, um, um, balls and then i went in with the small ones to fill it in and of course another thing that i also love in my christmas tree is the christmas flowers as you guys can see i picked up this um white and red flower and look how it just added that very nice pop of color to the tree look at this i really 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 love the the white and red flowers Another thing I don't joke with when I'm do when I'm thinking of my Christmas decor, especially for the Christmas tree, is my peaks. I just love the way peaks, you know, makes um Christmas tree look really, really nice. They make it look kind of designer-like. As you guys can see, I picked up this um candy cane, <laughs> the candy cane stick. Ever since my son saw this, he thought he always, whenever he sees it, he thinks it's candy, guys. It's candy cane ornament. And as you guys can see, I also picked up the bigger one and hey like omg like i just love how everything came together i love how everything just turned out as you guys can see they're all blended so well together the white and the red and of course i also went ahead and put on some um 
stockings you know as you guys get no 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 i put on the decor also on my my uh, my mantle you want to you know i just love having um decor on the mantle and also on the the tree like whatever decor i have on the tree also goes on the reef is this called the reef or garland i think this is the guy i don't know why i always confuse i always say <laughs> garland and and um wrath they usually just confuse me but anyways guys as you guys can see i went ahead and added some stockings as you guys can see i just love having stocking you know hanging on my mantle because it makes it look all unified they make they make it look really really nice and of course you don't want to forget your christmas um skirt because you want to be able to hide the, the the rim you know the christmas tree rim and what i usually do is i add some pillows on that day so that way it looks really really nice and it kind of helps um fluff up the the tr that like the bottom of your christmas tree before you then go ahead and put on whatever um whatever gift boxes or you know real gifts you know you have like in my home immediately is christmas week we love to because everybody gets gifts for 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 everyone right so we wrap up the gifts and we put them right under the christmas tree but for now we just i love to whenever i do my christmas decor i love to put in some decorative boxes as you guys can see and yep they just make the whole thing look really really nice is coming to visit no he wouldn't miss this in christmas times oh and the sun said it is just get better on a blanket with the sky all right so once the tree is done and dusted we're going to move on to the coffee table and for this year's decor i didn't want to do much on my coffee table i've actually been enjoying a very simple coffee table of late guys so i just went ahead and added a tray i added a decorative book absolutely love this tom ford book because it's huge like once you have it in any decor it literally like takes up the whole the whole space which i love and i added um few you know christmas ornaments you know no no christmas decor on the on the tray and then on this side right here i just added a candle and some candle utensils as you guys can see and yeah i just you know i just kept it really really nice and very very simple for the coffee table and the fact that i have kind of touches of red also on the coffee table it just blends and looks so nice with the whole decor and of course for the sofa i'm gonna go ahead and add up my decorative and pillows as you guys can see i have the red i have also white decorative pillows and oh my gosh like when i saw this um, um three wise men black like three black wise men decorative pillow on at home goods ah, i really loved it i was like oh my gosh that looks so cute it's like that's the highlight of the whole decor for me i really 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 love that pillow right there and yep guys and of course don't forget your throw blanket because the throw blanket also helps to add that very nice pop of color to that sectional right there i don't know this christmas song is just my favorite like i just i love it guys but anyways as you guys can see i'm still going ahead to put on some decorative pillows on the other side of the sofa and over here with this console table i'm just keeping it very very simple i added some ornaments on a tray and then i'm going to add this um juno is this called Ju yeah yes juno J juno yeah i guess that's what it's called i'm going to add that right there and that's it for that decorative um and that's that for that um console table right there and then on my end table of course i'm also going to keep it very simple i'm going to add this decorative christmas tree and also that piece right there and that's it guys like i said i'm not doing much and yep i just love how everything came together i love how you know everything tied 
in you know the white the red it just it looks so good but yep you guys i believe that is all there is to this video of course if you enjoyed it please don't forget to hit that like button below hit the subscribe button if you haven't already and of course you know you can like you you can't finish your decor without lighting on some candles because you need everywhere to be smelling really really nice very very festive and i love this candle right here but yep guys i hope you guys enjoyed and till my next video look out for you know other christmas decor videos until my next one i will see you all very very soon bye and yeah isn't that amazing in christmas times we'll be chilling and having a good good time doesn't matter if the snow is falling Chilling and having a good, good time